वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव मॉडल साइंस क्वेश्चन पेपर सेट टू ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट पार्ट ए फिजिक्स वी हैव टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट मीन चूज द करेक्ट अल्टरनेटिव आर राइट द कंप्लीट आंसर ओके दे गिवन मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन और टोटल थ्री क्वेश्चन आर थ्री इच कैरिंग वन मार्क फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन one of the properties of concave lens one of the properties of concave lens this is the structure of concave lens see okay <clears throat> then concave lens thinner at the middle okay and thicker at the edges so first option wrong okay it uh, diverges light ray it's concept right but we have to see the other options also form a real line inverted no it forms a virtual line oh straight images so this concept also wrong converge light rays this is also wrong so right answer option b right answer option b diverge the light rays question number 2 the crystalline lens of the eye in old age people sometimes uh, become some milky and cloudy this condition is called this condition is called cataract okay whenever i am solving a uh, kannada key answers uh, by mistake uh, it's identified as a presbyopia but it's not presbyopia it is cat cataract question number 3 in fleming's left hand rule the middle finger indicates the direction of middle finger indicates the direction of current option a right answer okay current are uh, what uh, the, the thumb indicates the movement of the conductor uh, then four finger magnetic field question main number 2 answer the following questions each carrying one mark uh, total two questions are there if a focal length of a spherical mirror is 25 cm then find the radius of curvature they asked okay focal length f is equal to 2r r what r is equal to r is equal to uh, f is equal, very sorry very sorry uh, very sorry Uh, f uh, r is equal to 2f it's a standard formula okay then whenever we want to find out uh, focal length what we use we use f is equal to r by 2 but they given here focal length they given here what they given a focal length then what we have to do we have to double we have to double then uh, 2 into 25 2 into 25 means it's a 50 cm then 2 into 25 50 cm right answer Question number five: Draw a symbol diagram of two electric cells connected in series in an electric circuit. Okay, see this is the one cell and this is the another cell. One positive terminal, one negative terminal. Another one positive, negative. Two, uh, two what uh, cells connected in a series? Okay, that's a shown here. Question main number three: Answer the following questions. Okay, sixth one: How does our eye? accommodate to see the object at a different distances okay two mark questions total two questions are there two 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 is a four so see uh, when we are looking at the distant object ciliary muscles are relaxed the lens become thin its focal length increases when we are looking at objects closer to the eye the ciliary muscles contract the lens becomes thicker okay the focal length decreases because of this it accommodates because of this it accommodates for this question they asked another one r type question you have to answer that one or this one any one you have to answer stars appears to be twinkling why answer stars emit their own light and they twinkle due to the atmospheric refraction of starlight the uh, starlight Uh, the starlight on entering the earth's atmosphere undergoes a refraction continuously before it reaches the earth the atmospheric refraction occurs in a medium of gradually changing refractive index see for example we are here you are here okay this is the star uh, like a, what a point or a small pin like structure this is the earth atmosphere okay from this a small dot whatever the light enters to earth several layers it what uh, refracts refracts and uh, whenever it reaches to your eyes whenever it reaches to eyes the star becomes bright whenever it not reaches 
twice because star is always emits its own light whenever it uh, the light is not uh, what enters in our eyes that time it it looks like a dim or faint so because of this process uh, stars appears to be twinkling seventh one what is a solenoid how can it be uh, converted into electromagnet solenoid a coil of many circular turns of insulated copper wire wrapped closely in the shape of cylinder a strong magnetic field produced inside a solenoid can be used as uh, used to uh, magnetize a piece of magnetic material like a soft iron when placed inside the coil okay question main number 4 answer the following questions three mark questions total three questions they are given three three is a nine okay then uh, this is the diagram uh, a beam oh, sorry a ray of light is passed to the prism then uh, uh, it uh, undergo a refraction refract because of refraction Uh, uh, diffraction also occurs. Uh, several color splits, and those diffracted colors are again inverted prism. If we pass, we again get a composite light. This is the process. Uh, we have to a uh, little bit explain also here. Question number nine: State Ohm's law. How are ammeter and voltmeter connected in electrical circuit? Why are the instruments have to be connected in electric circuit? See Ohm's law. Uh, we proportional to I. The potential difference V across the ends of a given metallic wire in an electric circuit is directly proportional to the current flowing through it at constant temperature. Ammeter should be connected in series. Voltmeter should be connected in parallel. Parallel in the circuit. Ammeter is used to measure the current. Voltmeter is used to measure potential difference. You have to write this question. Or if you Don't know the answer, then they give another one R type question. State Joule's law of heating. How is fuse connected in circuit? How does fuse work in a circuit? Okay, this is a very very important and hot question. Maximum time they ask this question. Maybe they ask Ohm's law or they ask Joule's law. See them. Joule's law of heating. H is equal to I square R T. Heat produced in a resistor is directly proportional to square of current for given resistance. Directly proportional to resistance for a given current and directly proportional to the time for which the current flows through the resistor. Fuse connected in a series in the circuit. If a current larger than the specified value flow through the circuit, then the fuse melts and break down the circuit. that's why we use a fuse then then tenth one question how do you trace the magnetic field lines around a bar magnet using a compass needle magnetic field lines do not intersect each other why take a small compass and a bar magnet place a magnet on a sheet of white paper fixed on drawing board mark the boundary of magnet place the compass near the north pole of the magnet mark the position of two ends of the needle now move the needle to the new position such that the south pole occupies the position previously occupied by the uh, by its uh, north pole in this way proceed step by step till we reach the south pole of the magnet join the points marked on the paper by smooth curve this represent a uh, field lines Rep uh, what repeating above procedure we can draw uh, as many lines as possible the compass needle will not point towards two direction at a point because uh, the lines not intersect for uh, uh, if you know this answer 10th one you can able to write that or uh, they give one another one r type question what are the causes for overload and short circuit in an electric circuit what is the function of earth wire in a domestic circuit causes for overload and short circuit accident hike accidental hike in the supply voltage connecting too many appliances to the single socket when a live wire and neutral wire come into direct contact because of these reasons short circuit will occur or overload will occur in uh, electric circuit function of earth wire in domestic circuit earth wire provides a low resistance conducting path for current any leakage of a current flow in the earth and protects the user from severe electric shocks how it make a uh, what a uh, what a uh, low resistance conducting path by making a uh, uh, electric circuits uh, what potential difference and earth's potential difference same question main number 5 answer the following questions it's a four mark question it's a problem 
a wire of a given material having a length l and area of cross section a has a resistance of 4 ohm what would be the resistance of another wire of the same material having a length l by 2 and the area of cross section 2a uh, this question is also related to concept which concept uh, resistance and area are inversely proportional resistance and length are directly proportional based on that concept they given this uh, uh, problem so r1 uh, rho is equal to l by a how much they given 4 ampere now the second wire r2 rho l by 2 divided by 2a then it turns into uh, denominator denominator goes to up means it uh, multiplies that's why it turns into 1 by 4 rho l by a as it is we remove outside then r2 is equal to 1 by 4 r1 so the resistance of the another wire is 1 ohm 1 ohm first uh, in a r1 it's a 4 ohm then reduced to 1 why it's reduced the length of the wire also reduced and the cross section increased if a cross section increases means resistance decreases b in an electric circuit the resistor r1 r2 and r3 have a value of 5 ohm 10 ohm and 30 ohm respectively when these resistors are connected to battery of 12 volt parallelly then calculate the total resistance of the circuit r1 how much do you want 5 ohm r2 how much do you want 10 ohm r3 30 ohm okay potential difference 12 volt okay what we have to find out rp rp the resistors are connected parallel so uh, what's the formula 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 uh, then 1 by r1 5 ohm and by r2 10 ohm 1 by r3 30 ohm then uh, lcm of this 5 10 30 is 30 then uh, 5 6 is 30 10 3 is 30 31 is 30 so 10 by 30 then whenever we make the reciprocal 1 by rp if we want to make it rp then uh, uh, numerator goes to denominator denominator goes to numerator c uh, 30 goes to up and 10 comes to down so 3 is a 1 is a okay this is a 3 ohm it's a 3 ohm question main number 6 answer the following questions it's a 5 mark question 12th question it's a a what is the refraction of light the refractive index of a diamond is 2.42 what is the meaning of this statement see then refraction of light the phenomenon of bending of light ray when travels obliquely from obliquely from one transparent medium to another the ratio of the speed of light in air and the diamond is equal to 2.42 that's why it's refractive index 2.42 we compare it to air medium to any other medium whatever the given medium is there on the basis of that we find out the refractive index then b question what are the uses of concave mirror write the mirror formula Uses of concave mirror used in torches, searchlights, used in vehicle headlights, used in shaving mirrors. Uh, the dentist used to test the uh, teeth, examine teeth of patients. Then used in uh, solar furnaces. Then mirror formula 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon V plus 1 upon U. Okay. Then next part, part B, that's a chemistry. Uh, chemistry we have to see in next part, next video. Uh, try to share this video to other groups also your friends also and who they want to join the group uh, contact me on 9481035821 okay it's my number uh, uh, sslc group i created related to english madam all subjects not only science Canada, uh, hindi english and uh, ss science except mathematics all subjects contents i'm going to add there so join and uh, take use of that group and also these videos uh, to prepare well thank you thank you so much